Hi guys, I did a review about just over a year ago probably on the generator we got and we're still loving it. But I thought I would do a little short review on a couple of things, the Jackery and the system that we use for our internet. We do have a battery bank, we do have an inverter, but it's just kind of crazy, you know, to hook up the camper to the battery bank to run just our little internet system. Now initially, I need the internet running when we're away from the camper to notify us when there might be a problem with the temperature in the camper. We travel with dogs. Sometimes we're in Dallas in the middle of summer. It gets over 100 degrees. So I have a Govee thermometer that notifies me wirelessly if the temperature in the camper is starting to get too warm and that would allow me to get back to the camper and you know make sure that my dogs are safe and sound. Later we got a ring system. We have three ring cameras that we post around the camper depending on where we're parked and what area needs to be covered and um, I need the internet also to send me notifications with that. Again you know if you're running the generator in the middle of summer and it goes out, you actually can't have your camper also plugged into the battery bank, so what do you do? You know, you don't want to be running these small devices off of your battery bank during the winter time just for those things, you know, for your ring system. So what I decided to do was get a backup battery that has AC capabilities. Well, I bought a, an off-brand I can't even remember the name of it, but <laughs> you know, it was in, it wasn't that expensive, but it would run this, and it would run my um, this device. This device is also all electric. Now this has battery, so I wasn't worried about that part. But this, I needed this in order to reach the cameras on the end of the camper because this hotspot just didn't quite reach that far. So what I did. Bought this off-brand, plugged my uh, internet router in, which I use Wi-Fi on steroids. I'll explain that a little bit deeper later. <clears throat> and then I plugged this in, which is USB plugged in. Well, when I would get back and turn my generator on, this would still have power, but this would not. And I was like, well... I have to always unplug this and plug this back into power and then you have to worry, you know, go through this resetting to make sure everything has internet again. <laughs> so it was just continuously having to plug and unplug, plug and unplug, you know, move this back and forth from plug to plug. And I thought, this is not cool at all. So what I did was start doing some research. What is, what is this I need? And there, it, it's evidently something called pass-through, which allows this to have power whether you're, it's getting power from an outside source or not. So, right now it's unplugged. Um, I started this at 8.30 last night. It's 3.30 now. It's run um, these two devices and charged that at my hotspot um, you know, through the night until 3.30. And it's got 28% left. So, it will definitely run you know, while we're sleeping and during the days that we're gone. But when you plug it in, okay, I've got it plugged in now. It's getting power from an outside source. You can see I still have power to my Wi-Fi on steroids. I love this. <laughs> so now when we get to a show, I can set this up. You know, I don't have to keep the power running to it. I can just plug and unplug this when I need to to charge charge this, but I can just keep, leave all my internet connected to this. Now I'll give you a better look at what my internet system is. Okay, I got the Wi-Fi on steroids. In order to hook my phone, which I have unlimited Verizon on, uh, to this Wi-Fi on steroids, and we would have internet through the camper. You know, your wife, your phone allows like five devices to be hooked up. And we've got, you know, everything in here. <laughs> we have Alexas and, you know, we have um, fire sticks and you name it, we've got it in here. So I just needed more than five, uh, plus our ring system, we have three cameras. So what I did was I got this Wi-Fi on steroids, hook it up to my telephone. 
well, if I want to go in and change this Wi-Fi on steroids to this hotspot, it is a headache to change. I'm like, this is just nuts. I mean, it's harder to change this than it is this, which is a TP-Link little hotspot uh, router. So what I did was I leave my phone connected to this and then I hooked this hotspot up to this one. So when we don't have Verizon or when I'm leaving the camper, all I have to do is plug this one that has AT&T into here. So that way we have coverage uh, when we're gone from the camper. Now obviously if we're in an area that doesn't have AT&T, I have to leave my phone behind in order to uh, continue the internet uh, coverage for the camper. Um, and then my, we get everything, the, all the warnings and everything on my sister's device. But in most cases we have both. AT&T is usually slower, but it's fast enough to do my thermometer and my ring cameras because usually your upload is faster than your downloads anyway. So this system has worked out really good for me. I don't I don't know if anybody else is interested in this kind of a system. Uh, you know, you can buy really expensive ones that, you know, you can put two cards in, but the problem is it's on my phone. So <laughs> I can't, no one can't take my card out of my phone to be putting in, you know, one of those more expensive devices. And then, you know, I'm a sometimer, not a full timer. So I just want something that works, that's not expensive, that I can use when we go um, to dog shows on the weekends. Sometimes, you know, the, the most I think is usually, you know, four or five days. And this works really good. So it might be something you want to consider. Now, if you have a bigger camper than ours, because uh, this just basically, it reaches to the end of my camper each end. So I'm thinking if you had a 45 foot camper you might have to look into a stronger router because we're just like right on the edge. Sometimes I have to move the front camera just a little bit to make sure that it hooks into this. So a 45 foot camper I don't think it would cover end to end. You would need a stronger one. But you know this one is easy to change. <laughs> comparatively. So if you just need to get, you can get this and plug this into any router that you want to buy. I mean you could get an Orbi system if you um, wanted to and just plug this into the back of the one Orbi and you would have internet throughout which seriously I've thought about doing. Um, but this one is very simple to change from, you know, one internet or the other. Like if we go to a campground, um, I just, you know, would look up that campground's internet and log in with this one. But it's just real simple to change this one. It's a TP-Link. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's TP-Link and over to the side it has the different methods that you can use it as. But basically you can use it to share Ethernet, share hotspot, or to access point is what the other one is, so, or extender. So I've got it as share hotspot on this one because I'm sharing my hotspot. And then that way, that it's just real simple. Complicated. Simple. <laughs> but again, this TP-Link doesn't reach from one end of the camper to the other end of the camper just like our hotspot doesn't so that's why we have this router and then it just makes it simple for me to trade from one in internet to the other and usually we're on my phone because it's a lot faster Verizon tends to be faster where we go anyway I'm very happy so far with this Jackery I'm still like testing it As you can see the short time that I've been talking it has already charged up to 30% I'm probably going to go ahead and let it work down to where I need to recharge it again. And that's that's how I will use it because, you know, it's a, a lithium battery, I believe. So I don't know. I'll have to check on that. Um, but you're wanting to do it like you do your computers. Let it die, you know, get down to the bottom and then recharge it uh, so that you don't ruin your battery. Um, but this is the Jackery Explorer 240. 
and I'm going to be I'm really happy with it. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be really nice. The off-brand, like I said, better look and see if it has that pass-through capabilities. Now, I did get a $75 coupon off of an app called Deal News, and I just watch that app all the time. I get discounts all the time, like that Govee thermometer. They're like $50. I got it for $33 something. I don't know. It was something like that, but <laughs> I got a good deal on it. I actually got two of them because I put one uh, in another area area where we need to watch temperatures for the dogs just to make sure you know that we get a warning if it's getting too cold or it's getting too hot I've got it set to it warns me either way so I know what's going on with my dogs okay it is lithium ion battery cells that are in this so again the best thing to do would be to not keep it plugged in all the time you know that doesn't bother me if I have to plug and unplug this you know, as long as this is continuously getting power, I can plug and unplug that. <laughs> but when you lose power to this, then you have to go through making sure it's getting the internet from this correctly. And, you know, then you have to make sure all your devices reconnected. And so with this way, I can keep this constantly running power. And I'm not having to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to get all that stuff to make sure it's running. And I can unplug this and turn my phone on and it will pick up my phone internet and I just love this system for me so maybe it's something you can look at that might help with your needs anyway thought I would do another little review on something it might be something you could use you may have another use for it I really when I when I saw people with these jackeries I was like what do I need it for you know <laughs> You know, that's a lot of money. So why do, why do I need this little thing? So I found out what I needed it for. and But I did find a coupon. So I was like, okay, with the coupon and, you know, the, what it will do for me, the time and energy it will save for me is worth it. So um, you might find that it's worth it for you too. Anyway, have a nice day and glad to talk to you again. And thanks for listening.